This is Ollie with Visedown.com. Uh, we're in Hinkley, which means we must be at Triumph, and we've got this. This is the Triumph Daytona 765 Moto 2 Limited Edition. Now, when this was first announced a few weeks ago, it, was, it went crazy on social media. Everyone is very, very excited to see this bike. So this is the, uh, the finished product. Well, not quite the finished product. Very close. Very close to being the, the yeah. finished product, but you get an idea of what we've, we've got here. So I'm here with Stuart. He is going to, ex uh, chief engineer, uh, with Triumph, who has overseen this project. It's a bit of a, a passion project uh, for you, if, if I may say. So please introduce your bike. Okay, well, it's really an opportunity. Um, as you know, we've been supplying the engines Moto2 this year, um, but that's been a, a few year project to get into this stage. Um, had the opportunity to produce a Moto2 engine for the road and put it in a Daytona chassis. So that was too good an opportunity to miss, really. Now, the Daytona needs little introduction. It is an iconic uh, sports bike. So what makes this the ultimate Daytona? Okay, well, as the heart of it is the engine. It is a completely different experience. Um, there's more power and more torque through the whole rev range. Um, the large capacity uh, gives you that. Uh, it has been derived from the Moto2 engine. So we've got the Street Triple engine, the 765 Street Triple, that those then developed to Moto2, and then partly in parallel um, has been developed back to the road, the road engine. So when you match that with the agility and precision of a Daytona, and then we take the opportunity to do even more. So we've got carbon fiber bodywork, we've got beautifully uh, finished metal finished frame. So the anodized frame now, uh, opportunity to reduce the weight even further and get a beautiful, beautiful finish. We've got the electronics, um, we've got riding modes, we've improved the front brakes further. We've get, got the balance there, so we've got the focus on road riding, but also track days. You're going to take this on the track and you're going to love it. So we've got the Brembo Stylema calipers now with a really high bite pads in there as well. So really good performance. Now you raised an interesting point in there because a lot of people, they, they've seen the 765 and Daytona and they've often seen that as being a good marriage. But as you say, this has gone from to Moto2 first and also been sort of dialed back in, into a road bike. So this is very much a race to road uh, machine. Absolutely. Um, it's a big development job. It's not as straightforward as you'd think. Um, the Moto2 uh, world is very definite, very controlled. It's something you can design an engine for. The bikes are ridden very, very hard. The engines are used very, very hard, but we know exactly that uh, duty cycle. Um, when you want to make performance and get that response, but it still has to be homologated, it has to have a two-year unlimited mileage warranty and a 6,000-mile uh, service interval, that's another level. Now, just take me through the uh, different riding modes. You mentioned five there, right up to the top with, with yeah. tracks. Just Give us a little bit more about the ethos behind, thinking behind and okay. putting this into the bike. Yeah, okay, well we've got the opportunity. Um, the engine is ride by wire, so the throttles are controlled by wire. So that allows us the opportunity of having um, engine maps, different engine maps, um, which gives you different response and, and allows you to dial in the type of response for the conditions, where it's appropriate. So you'll have uh, a more gentle response in rain mode, for instance. Um, you've got different traction control modes, which go all the way up to uh, track mode, and you can switch it off completely if, if you want. Um, similarly with the anti-lock brakes, you've got a road mode, a track mode, and you can switch it off. So with that, that allows you to really um, give yourself the opportunity to explore the limits of the bike with the safety net as well. All really easy to use, you can select it all, with a joystick on the left hand switch cube, everything's displayed on the TFT instruments. It's completely intuitive, so very, very easy to use. Now, just looking at um, the outside styling differences, it's still that iconic Daytona shape, but what makes this limited edition Moto 2 different? What are the little traits that, are, that will make this stand out? Okay, well, it's the very high specification component level. Um, looks fantastic, but it is all about performance. So, the Olin suspension, the Brembo brakes, um, we've got the uh, Triumph shift assist, so that's up and down shifting with throttle blip. Um, it's all focused on 
that very precise, very intuitive ride that you're going to get from uh, a street triple or a Daytona. And this is absolutely the pinnacle of what you're going to get in terms of that, that ride precision. Now, I'm guessing you've been lucky enough to, to get, out, get out on the bike. So uh, what kind of emotions does it stir up? What will this, who would this bike appeal to? Anyone who's ridden a Daytona, this is just the next level. Mm -hmm. They're going to love it. Absolutely, I guarantee it. Absolutely guarantee it. Um, if you ride anything on a track day, well, try it. It, it is, it's phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. You've got the precision, you've got the response, you've got the torque. You can use the tyres to the absolute limit. Um, you can ride this bike with complete confidence and precision. So emotionally, for me, it is about the precision and that uh, intuitive response. Um, put on top of that the soundtrack of three-cylinder engine, maximum RPM, yeah, making full power, it's absolutely glorious. 765 doesn't just uh, represent a capacity, it is limited edition. 765 will be made available in the UK and Europe and 765 in the Americas. It's already very sought after. You must be so pleased with the reception this has already had. Yeah, absolutely. Um, honestly, not really surprised. We've got a lot of uh, Daytona owners, previous Daytona owners, that have always loved the bike. Um, it's been a couple of years since they've been able to get a bike, a Daytona, and this really is the ultimate. So it's a great opportunity and it is a limited edition. Thanks so much for giving us a chance to have a get up close and personal with this fantastic bike. If we can get a soundtrack of it, do we hear it? Yeah, why not? Um, start yeah. it up. Okay. <laughs>